Okay, yeah. Open, I give you the, I give you the data. So open this data. Okay, and open your SP as a practice. Okay. Data. Oh my god. Oh my god. He doesn't I'm going home. He doesn't want to. So. Okay, open this STS on one See, you would rather me teach how one first, right? Yes. And now when we teach this, it's so easy. Just kind of dessert. I just give you dessert. <laughs> <laughs> and then if I say, any more dessert? And you say, oh, thank you, I'm so full. <laughs> Did you do that when you went to the restaurant? When they asked you, need a dessert? Yes. Usually it's too full or not. But this one, you have no choice. You say, no, thank you. I said, no, you have to, right? But I think I'm glad you like it. Okay, so this is the data actually not a stranger we used this data before okay this is the evidence are we going to use this data for the exam the exam i'm going to give you uh new data i think you have to set up oh you have to set up. so the data will be not that many but you have to set up okay <laughs> otherwise you will only 10 minutes and you walk away <laughs> Make sure you keep you here as long as I want. <laughs> Otherwise, I won't see you for another year, right? and different for class attendance amongst them who are taking class in different days. Okay, and remember they have a three class, three groups, right? That's why we use this. Okay, so the non hypothesis is the no significant difference in the class attendance for student taking class different day, and then this taking a different class on different days. Okay, and then like this. Okay, now only the only thing you don't know is how to run it, right? But actually it's very easy. Okay. So, so for this one, should we be writing new one, new Actually, because this is a statistical class, so I will appreciate, beside the statement, you also write our statistical way. Okay. Okay, but the reason I want to put here, because this will be helpful for your future, okay? When you write your research paper, you cannot just do statistical, you also need to write this. Okay. And then so here, um, put your, the way we, we teach, put here, okay? And now let's do, run it, okay? So go to your data, okay? And you pretty much know which airport you go to, right? Mm -hmm. Where? Okay. Da, 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 here. Wow. In what? Two seconds. 
right? So it give, that give you all the mean score, standard error, confidence interval, everything, right? And that give you this chart, ANOVA. Beautiful, here, right? So now I want you to copy paste these two tables into your own document. So that give you comparison. Okay. So the first row is Monday, Thursday, compared with Tuesday, Friday. Okay. So remember, we subtract them, and this is the result is after subtraction. Okay. That fall from into subtraction. But your SIG, do you see SIG? Okay. So now, is Monday, Thursday different from Tuesday, Friday? Based on SIG. Yeah. Now, because what? Greater than 0.05. Everybody understand? You good? Okay. 
Now, how about Monday, Thursday, and Saturday? That's us, right? Okay, now, they subtract. So if this is a positive number, that means Monday, Thursday is higher. The score is higher than Saturday. That's why when you subtract, it becomes positive, right? And then your SIG is 0.006. So what's that mean? They are significant, right? So let's just put a star there before we lose it. Sometimes we are coming up. If we are to a I think we can put a star there just for ourselves. Okay, so that means these two groups, they are different. Okay, now this one just reverse. So this will be Tuesday, Friday. You already compare, but they compare one more time and they still the same. So this time they Tuesday, Friday, subtract Monday, Thursday and they are the same, so no different there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then Tuesday, Friday compared with Saturday, what happened? Nothing, right? Nothing. 0.134 is greater than 0.05. And then the last, last one is just kind of reversed. No, not you, they repeat. So then actually everything you already got it, same here. So, okay, so only two groups we found the difference is what? Monday, Thursday, and compared with Saturday. Make sense? Okay, so that's what we are going to write here. Okay, so that's right here. Okay, so then you say, the student attendance in the group of, okay, now let's look, which number is higher? Thursday, Monday, Thursday, right? If you're not sure, you can go back to look at mean score. Okay, Monday, Thursday, is the attendance is 13.4. is 10.3, 10 right? Okay, so you put the score higher. That's because I said I'm higher, so you have to put this score first. Okay, for Monday and Thursday, it's higher, and then for the mean score, so I need you to go back to the Descriptive here. 13 point 4,000. Okay. And SD. Okay. One, one, five, one, six, four, zero. Then the student of Saturday. Okay, and then since we only one group, a two group different, then maybe you can go to this part to make the answer clear. Walk by yourself? No, no. Oh, I need to take you one more time. One more, one more time. time. Okay. Oh, you say please? Yeah. Please. please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, point or what? Okay. So then, let's say GPA and then taking class in different days. Okay, so you go back. Okay, somebody walk me. 
Analyze. Yes. Uh, compare means one way ANOVA. Yeah. Uh, switch attendant with GPA. Thank you. 